Hey, it's Travel Jiggler, and today I'm going to share with you my recipe for a snook fry. So snook is a very popular fish to fry in South Africa and with National Bry Day coming up I think this is going to be a great recipe for you to use. Of course you can use it on any other day as well. Let's talk about the ingredients. The first ingredient of course is to have a nice piece of snook. Now there are three really important rules for fish brying which I'm going to go through as we talk about this bry and the recipe and the method today. Rule number one is get some really nice fresh fish. The rest of the ingredients have to do with the basting that we're going to put on the fish. And these consist of some garlic, some pepper, freshly ground pepper preferably, lemon, and that's going to be lemon juice and some lemon rind as well, and orange, that's going to be orange juice and some orange rind as well. The final important ingredient is some butter. Now besides the ingredients, it's also important to have a really nice charcoal bry grain. I like to use both briquettes and a bit of wood-fired charcoal if I can. Obviously, if you can use all wood-fired charcoal, that's great because you get those nice smoky flavors from the wood charcoal. My wood fire is a bit smoky, so I'm going to try and get those flames up and so we can get some coals going really quickly. If you're going to use a wood fire, and in general, I think for campfires and that sort of thing, a trusty set of billers is a good idea to have. This is a set of billers from Firewalk, and they are really nicely made and they do a really good job. So, let's get this going. Okay, cool. Fire's going nicely. Let's get back to the ingredients. I'm going to start with my garlic. A single clove of garlic is enough for a fish of this size. Obviously, the bigger the fish you're using, the more you'll need of each of these ingredients. To a large extent, I do this according to my flavor and what I like. So take these as a set of guidelines. Okay. The next ingredients are going to be my orange and my lemon. So I use about a quarter of an orange for every full lemon. I'm going to start by grating some rind off of my orange and I'm going to put that straight into my saucepan and I'm going to do the same with the lemon as well. So you don't need very much of the orange in the saucepan, you just need to get a bit of that intense orange flavor from the peel into your sauce. It generally works a lot better if you have a nice small grater because of the size of the orange. However, this is what I've got, so this is what I'm going to use. Next step is the orange juice. So I'm going to use about a quarter of an orange and that is a quarter of an orange for one full lemon. So if you're going to need more sauce, then try and maintain that one to four ratio. And squeeze that. Next is my lemon. So I'm going to get some lemon rind off of this. And then the lemon juice. So I'm going to use a whole lemon. And then some freshly ground pepper. So I like to put quite a bit of pepper in. I recommend you put in about a teaspoon or so of freshly ground pepper. You can reduce it or increase it according to your taste. Next thing is the butter. You're going to use about as much butter as you have sauce in the pan. So approximately an equal amount of butter as what's already in the pan at this stage. If you want to put a bit less butter, that's fine as well. You will then get slightly more intense flavors from the rest of the ingredients. If you want to put a bit more butter, that's fine as well. You will then get nicer color on the fish when you bry it. Quick bellows on the fire before we get to the coals. So our charcoal is ready. I've done that in a Weber chimney. It's also a really nice product to have. Gets your charcoals prepared really quickly. This brings us to critical rule number two. Fish bries really quickly, it's really sensitive to temperature, so it burns very easily as well. So you've got to make sure that when you're going to bry fish, you bry it on a low to maximum of medium heat. So I like to do a low heat typically, and I prefer not to get all the way up to medium. And the way that I get a nice low heat on the bry is I use a maximum of a single layer of charcoal at the bottom of the bry. 
So you want to have the charcoal a fair distance apart so that you don't get too much heat coming from there. You will also note that I'm going to take some wood charcoal from the fire and chuck that into there. So I'm going to put it in some of those spaces there just to get that nice smoky flavor into the fish. And of course, always remember to clean your bry. As you can see, this is a well-used bry, but I like to keep it nice and clean. The easiest way to butterfly bry a fish is to use a two-cup rooster like this. It holds the fish nicely in place and it's easy to turn it over. Make sure you get some nonstick or some spraying cook or whatever onto that surface that your fish doesn't stick to it. Right, so we're quickly going to get our sauce ready and I'm going to do this on the bra. Like I said, it's often easier to do this in a little bowl like this here and then you can do it in the microwave. So just put it in the microwave, zap it for 15 seconds at a time until it's all nice and melted. So what you're trying to do here is to just get this nice and warm and have the butter nice and melted into the sauce. You don't have to cook it necessarily, you just want to get it nice and warm, get that butter nicely melted in there and get some of that flavor from the garlic into the sauce as well. Now let's get our fish into our griddle. So I'm going to get that nice and opened up over there. So our fish is going to go on the bry skin side down. I'm going to base the fish on the flesh side. You should not base the fish on the skin side which you're going to put down first because then that drips into the coals and you get a bit of flame going. You don't want to burn the fish. As I said earlier, fish is very sensitive to heat and it cooks really quickly. So we're cooking it on a low heat. We're going to cook it on the skin side for seven minutes and then we're going to turn that over, cook it on the flesh side for three minutes. And while it's cooking on the flesh side, we are going to baste the skin side with a bit of our basting. Be very careful. You don't want to keep your fish on the fire for too long because then you'll overcook it. And you also want to make sure that you're at a low heat so that you don't burn the fish. Right, so that's seven minutes, so we're going to turn it around now. And that's exactly what you want, a nice crispy skin that isn't burned through, it's just nicely cooked and a little bit crisp. So now we're going to baste the skin side with the flesh side down, and that's going to cook for three minutes. So that's exactly three minutes, we should have some perfectly cooked fish now. So this is what we want. We want the fish to be cooked through and a nice golden brown color. You can baste your fish a little bit more for that last bit of flavor, but you want to get it off the fire almost straight away. So that's a nice, perfectly cooked snook. As you can see, there's just a little bit sort of golden on the flesh side, which is exactly what you want. And that typically will happen if you've got that butter in there at the right amount, and also if you've kept it on at the right temperature. So remember those two golden rules, fresh fish, and also make sure that you have your bry at a low heat, medium, maximum, preferably low. And that brings us to critical rule number three. Critical rule number three is that you've got to eat your fish as soon as possible off the bry. That's when it's got the most flavor and it's nice and juicy. I hope you found this episode informative. I hope you're going to get some great fish out of it. This is really a fantastic way to do your fish and it's something you can do at home as well as on a camping weekend or on a camping holiday if you're so lucky because it's very few ingredients that are really easy to do on the bry. Hit the like button. Also remember to subscribe and give me some comments as well. I'd love to hear about your snook recipes and how you're doing your snook as well as if you've tried this recipe and if it's worked out for you. Bry everywhere. See everything. Have a great time. So, fry everything, go everywhere, have a good time. <laughs> Let's do it.